are we on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let's make the phone check. Lights. Lights. Cameras. <laughs> this is Swanky. This is Lifestyle. This is Culture. Welcome to the social center of everything culture. Culture Daily. Time check 45 past 8. We're going straight into our big conversation. This one is going to be very interesting. I'll tell you, I'll fill you in in a bit. But listen, brunch at a uh, uh, live resto lounge wouldn't be bad at all today. I'll tell you why. It's in East Legon. It's um um they serve special dish like tozafi or mutu granite soup fufu light soup um you know mouth watering tilapia chicken goat's meat red fish it's all there for you at live resto lounge call 0201337766 now to experience live resto lounge eat hot eat good whilst you're on there as well um as a proud official betting partner of arsenal betway is bringing you way more with the new fan exclusive page listen place any bet on arsenal and you stand a chance to win exciting monthly prizes from a range of Arsenal jerseys to memorabilia and more. Not only that, you also stand a chance to win once in a lifetime play on the pitch experience inside the Emirates Stadium. There they be pass, I'm telling you. Listen, the competition ends 31st of January in 2025. Two months to go. Hurry up. Exclusive to Betway. Terms and conditions apply. Regulated by the Gaming Commission of Ghana. Bet responsible way. Betway. Get way more. And also, Charlie, when work gets tough, I bet it will. <laughs> you need that extra boost to keep pushing forward. And on those days when you need someone to be there for you, Cal Bell Coffee will be by your side. It's rich, creamy, three-in-one blend with great taste and aroma. Will, aroma will, will kickstart your day easy, whether you are working or just creating memories with friends and family or loved ones. Listen, Cal Bell Coffee, Lenny, will be there with you every moment. I'm reminding you as well that Lancaster University is offering a degree program 50% scholarship on there at a fraction of the cost you enjoy all this plus more that's um, studying in a vibrant student experience um, equipping you with useful employability skills taking you one step closer to the career of your dreams if you're looking for more information on this amazing offer then go on to their website it's lancaster.edu.gh or you can also email them admissions at lancaster.edu.gh or call 0209-607008 lastly i'll tell you about pepsodent cavity fighter which is fortified with pro fluoride and micro calcium ingredients that will um, seal uh, every tiny hole and invincible hole in your teeth because when you when you eat food and sugars get trapped between our teeth, that leads to tooth decay, gum disease, and in some cases, foul breath. That's why you need to brush your teeth day and night with Pepsodent Cavity Fighter, preventing cavities and keeps your teeth and your mouth very strong and very healthy. This morning, we're going to go into our big conversation. The man, Mix Master Garzi, is live in the studio. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Charlie, thank you very much, bro. Short notice while you pull the magic straight, off. Straight, straight, so, Stoneboy released a brand new album. We we're loving it up and running and uh, you know usually you bring the artists in and then you have a quick review on the album listen to song by song the story the journey but this um honored morning or grateful morning um we are we are excited because we have the man um mix master garzi who has also been behind some of the productions of this up and running album so we put a studio setup into the stress, studio stress, here stress, because we're gonna go through song by song lyric by lyric um have a technical understanding to to this album you know and his input as well as the songs that he produce so Charlie you're welcome you're welcome Charlie, thank you thank hey you, thank how you. long you have stolen the work be this how many years now like 15 years and more <laughs> wow wow and you know you know you know one thing I give it up to Gazi he was um when one of Stoneboy's biggest tunes uh one of, one off yeah. pull up mm -hmm. yeah yeah that'd be your tune right yeah that'd be when we all started from <laughs> yeah, that be that be that be that be when that that scene was crazy. Yeah, mm -hmm. ah, I for I for the data day. Yeah. <laughs> everything day. Oh, for real? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have the pull up data? Me, yeah, I have everything. I have all my data. Wow. Oh, but so it's here? Yeah. I just need to Oh, and listen, I know we are going to we are going to up and running, but oh, let me get oh, yeah. so Today we are up and running. You know? oh, oh, up and running. Yeah. 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 That, that 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 song. <laughs> no, be be crazy tune. You know? No, it be crazy. It'd be crazy song. So, uh, first off, how long have you guys been working on this album? This album, I think, um, mostly what Stone does is 
you know even that last time that we need to drop the last we need to drop this album yeah. we're even still recording songs for next album oh okay. so you see how we do it so it's always arranged like we pre you know record the songs, record the songs and just and like okay this one will be for next album this one will be for so maybe when the time is up it just be some one or two changes or fixing Touches or something. It. Yeah. So this is something that was planned already. So 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 in in terms of gap, mm-hmm. like what the songs here, some are like dates back. Yeah, as, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like two, two years. Oh wow. Three years. There are some songs that um, Amari Bibi, the song featuring Amari Bibi, like okay. F Up Summer. Mm-hmm. That that was supposed to even be on the previous album, you know, and then it was on this album right. And that song has always uh, has been recorded like. Two years ago, you understand. So wow. some okay. of the songs are yeah. like the one with Danka Mighty was also recorded like years ago, and then you know so the feature we, came on. We make sure mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. We, we get records. That's what I'm saying. Even the last day that we need to drop album, we were still recording mm-hmm. another songs for the next album. What's you, you, you and Stone your relationship like? Yeah, like, it's just and, vibe. And, we we just vibe, and, you know. I've been that one person that I always take time to understand people to work with. So yeah. I make sure that you know. I mean, one of Stop. the producers I can say that most yeah. of the artists in the industry we have that vibe that we work because yeah. I always pay attention to everybody. What is Tony working culture like? So when I say working culture, yeah. like they call you anytime or yeah, for, for or you, you, you play anytime. beats, you send it to him that Charlie for recordings anytime. Yeah. Like oh he can get an idea, say Charlie, bro, pull up, let's do this. Or where you there? I come your side. I get some idea. <laughs> let's run it. <laughs> we travel. We just carry studio. Like yeah. we set up. We go. Anywhere we did, yeah. we record. Yeah, I mean, I I I loved when I saw you working on that jam with uh, Davido. You guys from the, the the little clip that leaked that we yeah. all saw. Yeah, so that's all. Yeah. I was just stone call like David David there around us. What's up? Pull up. I said, okay, one minute I'm coming. Yeah, so a few minutes I, I entered and it was like cool. So even when I entered, you know, I find it like. Stone was like, oh, okay, David, yeah, so this is guys in my... Pro- so, what are you, you, they, you, you, you show me, guys. guys. Me, yeah. I know guys, like, so 2015, okay. I was with David, like, for three months in his house in Nigeria. So, like, we were, we were oh, that cool. Oh, for so, real? Wow. Yeah. So I, Yeah, I you know what? You know what? <laughs> guys, it's just on chain, be some time back. Yeah. Ah, must have been that so, time. It was like, ah, I know guys in Nigeria, my house for, like, 2015, <laughs> so you know what? You guys are set up. So the first bit I, I opened, that yeah. was like, yo, let's go. And then we just did it and said, tomorrow, let's shoot video. So that's one of the most fastest songs. Yeah, guys, why no one open that song for we will be here? <laughs> we will come back will to come that. To Today we are up and running. We are up and running. Anyway, I feel, I feel, yeah, he's bringing me to... <laughs> back, 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 back to the topic. Yeah, back to the topic. And I, I'm just itching to, to, to hear vocals and, and yes, you know, yes, stems yes, of yes, some, yes, of the, yes, some of the stuff. But yes. let, let's, let's go into the up and running. Um, I mean, clearly... Um, I, I don't know if Stoneway here would have told us why he named the album Up and Running, though. Um, but of course, so the running it has sex at the end, so uh-huh. that's a set album. Yeah. Oh, okay. And yeah, that's this Up and Running. He said this, this thing in his song Higher. <laughs> yeah. So you know when Higher was dropped. So you see what I'm telling you. All these things are something that is connected. The, yeah. Like you know from the, yeah, like back in days. So this is a 13 track album. Um, I'm sure all the data sits with you here, but you, how many songs did you work on? Yeah, so I work on Jiggle and Wine, mm-hmm. and I co produced JJ J and then Beta 10. I think I think I'll be excited to start off with JJ. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 let's let's open. <laughs> let's let, let's go into that 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 data and the making of the beats. Let, we want to listen to it line by line. If you can just, uh, yeah, it's, sure, possible sure, to, sure, it's possible um, to. What was the story behind this one? Did he sing the song to come show you, or did you play the yeah, beat so first? Basically, there's one of, of the the guys in Amsterdam uh, who is a guitarist, mm-hmm. and then he he did a sample. You know, so you can uh, he did a sample, and you know this is Africa. We have a vibe. Mm-hmm. He's a, like mm-hmm. a white boy, so he did a sample. So Stone played to us and said, this song is crazy. We need to give him that African t- touch so yeah. that, you know, we'll get that. Because this is like, it has a bit of francophone mm-hmm. and high life and everything. So let's let's work on it. So, you know, they send me all the files and yeah. I need to add some, you know, live bass, add some horns. Let's go through one by one. Yeah, live bass and horn. Let's go through the stuff one by one. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, let's start, just you can uh, create a loop for us and then let's yeah. just start picking the instruments yeah, in there one so by one. I'm sure that will bring the debate on, you know, the high life that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, that song is a classic. Yeah. It's 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 a classic, you know. And uh, I mean, upon release, uh, the little sneak peek that he put out there. Yeah. And, and then also the the conversation of it being, you know, um, a diss or political <laughs> really? quote unquote. You haven't heard that. Really? So, what was so, the cover around that? So you see, this song has been recorded 
years long back, time ago you know like not that like mm, a year or like a couple of months which has no idea of like a political yeah, yeah, yeah. something we're just mm. doing music mm. something that people will jump to mm. and i think this is is mm. more of a love story mm. yeah because we are talking about kofi who find a new love you or also yeah you want to mm -hmm. carry big things and all that uh -huh. so how does it relate to politics mm. let, let, let's oh, check yeah. out the percussion <laughs> let's check out the percussions in this mm, yeah. that's all yeah. okay Cheese. oh yeah Oh, and then what comes next? So we have the that's a jam already. Mm. Very danceable. So yeah. you know, with it, with it, when it comes to her life, or yeah. you know, we have the snaps and all that. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So let's yeah. Go. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. You know, um, this guy was here on Friday was talking about the castanets in the conga mm -hmm. and how yeah, it's yeah. used. And the loops. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Atongo. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Oh, oh, why? Okay, it's gonna come. Yeah. Let me look right here. Jeez. Which other percussions were in there? So we have the the cowbells and the shakers. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's, let's drop one of the instruments. Okay, let's yeah. give us the, the main team up. So that's like a, the, the lead. Nita is a kata. I wish we had a historian to tell us a bit about this kind of guitar. This is a francophone. Yeah. This is. is okay. That's nice. Then which other instruments were in there? So we'll go with the, the E piece. So let's go. You know he played the JJJ in the year? Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So there's the supporting guitars. These all played live? Yeah, or? everything live. So basically the producer is a guitarist. Yeah, uh, that's the, so it was Storm fishing him kind of okay he so he's a guitarist say, yes oh yeah so he didn't say anything in yes. the song but he, he, he did the, the guitar guitarist. so he did the guitarist and the percussions yeah so we have the eps like the keys so wait he's yeah. they sent this data to you they sent the, yeah, the, the yeah. data to you okay so you had to just uh stem by stem stem by stem okay yeah. uh, let's go and uh, let's see what other instruments were in there again so we have the eps the roots Oh, okay, I can hear that. The keys. That's like some Zook sound. Yeah. yeah. So we have the horns. Ooh. See how it, it changed the whole thing, eh? Ooh. Crazy. Crazy. Ooh. And I can imagine now when Stone gets in the mood on this. I think that instrument for the vocals coming. Yeah. So we have the Yes. <laughs> we have the the bass. Ooh. Is that a bass guitar or it's like So okay. yeah we did we did something. So basically that's what I'm saying. The producer is from that side and yeah. you know when it comes to life you know yeah. africa we, we we have that life so mm -hmm. the bass first was we use a log drum to play the bass that's mm -hmm. what it was i said okay that is nice but we need to really get that feel because mm -hmm. when you want to groove it has to be like you know holding it a groove so it's a live bass yes a live bass. so one of my um my my bass drama uh, mm -hmm. my bass guitarist for mm -hmm. my band band masters mm -hmm. i call him like yo come let's do this mm -hmm. so he dropped something so from the beginning you can hear that vibe Let's go. Hey! Yo, so you see this one will we'll keep you moving. <laughs> right. Even without the lyrics, yeah. Wait, yeah, no, 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 no. Again, 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 again. Did you hear that? Let it drop. Boom. Oh, no. <laughs> Crazy! 
I can imagine that was already a hit in the studio before even. Yeah. 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 So here, you see we have the live here. Oh, okay. So you give me a chance to play everything live. Yeah. Uh-huh. So the licks were unguided, he just flowed on it. Yeah, with the bass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got I got him because we needed to get some specific vibe. Mm. I've seen that he's also on a loop. Yeah. He's also playing a loop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. I think this this will groove Africans any day. Yeah. Any day. Please tease us with some vocal. Sure. So we're going into the vocals. Hey. Plenty files. Plenty files. For one song. <laughs> wow. I mean, it, 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 will, it will help us appreciate Stone. Uh, uh, 40 tracks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait. That, that was... Yeah, so some of those, you know, those rules and all yeah. that kind of vibe. So, yeah. you know, we added all those things to it to get that kind of vibe you understand so that oh, was that's a lot of work that's a lot of work wait 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 so <laughs> so that that trumpet yeah so that's the one okay. so that's how we were spelling what stone was saying you understand so so if it goes if you listen to the, the vocals if, yes so when we go to the vocals you know, and th that's the beauty of perfect. how you switch between sometimes, uh, uh, like the instrumental accompanying the, yeah. the lyrics. The lyrics yeah. uh, okay. So we spell it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you can see the song different. Mm. Yeah. So at times when we don't break it down, you feel like you know. So with the bass too. Wow. Stone Boy is good. He's good. I mean, look at how it's caught Ulele's attention. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I know everybody's just ready to hear that. Yeah, so right now, if you end, you know what's going on. Yeah. What's he saying there? Family help, I'm talking. You know here. Ah. Jagaban. 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 Uh 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 uh. Oh. Charlie, that's a lot of vocals, you know? You might think it's just one voice singing all through, but that's a lot of layers. Yeah. yeah. How long did it take you guys to do this song? So this song, I think he started recording it when he went to Amsterdam, mm. you know, because anytime he travels to, you know, play shows and all that, he used the opportunity to, you know, record mm -hmm. songs because, you know, when he, he finds himself in different environments, mm -hmm. he feels like, different. yeah, he needs to experience, experiment some of, you know, the vibes mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think they started from the Amsterdam and then when he came to Ghana, we did all those little adjustments and everything. And then we said that, no. And our first lady to say, like, this is a jam, so we need to drop this first. <laughs> <laughs> it is a jam. It is a jam. It is a jam. I, I, I love it. Yeah. So let's, let's have a chance to feel everything now, yeah, sure, when sure. everything combines and then produces this master class. Yeah. I love it. This is so beautiful. Let's, let, let's, let's go through the whole. Yeah. Woo, this is a lot of work, eh? Yep. He got it. Plenty things. That bass line there is crazy. One, two, three, go. So if you haven't had a chance to, if you haven't had a chance to listen to the album, if you listen to the mix, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy. It's smooth. It's it sits well on your speakers. Um, I I don't know. You know, sometimes artists uh, export their data for it to be mixed. Is, is yeah. that what in this situation is that what happened, or you had to piece everything together yourself? Yeah. So uh, because we have to 
get that mix we make sure that every file that is coming in okay is stemmed so every element has its own but like it's, it's separated okay so, so in that, that case we will be able to you know work on it well so did he mix it here in ghana I'm the most wanted now. Hey. The most wanted mix. Gazi, I think it's classic. If you listen to all the songs, all the levels are just as uh, equal. Mm. And it has a certain, you know, it, it's, not, a it's not scattered. Yeah, it's not scattered, scattered, yeah, it's not scattered at all. But, you know, it's it's very tricky because some of this, the songs there, people know, okay, okay, so it's also targeting the international market. You know, we have the international mm -hmm. appeal to on the album. And maybe people say, oh, okay, this songs there, I think it will be like maybe lovely weather, mm -hmm. geography, mm -hmm. and all that. So, oh, this one, I, I know they do it outside. Maybe here, no, we mix everything. No, for real. Yeah, that's like this computer day here, we do everything. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Wow. So, <laughs> it's, it's understanding the artists you're working with, and you yeah. know, also based on the experience that we have been through for, for the years uh, on now. the technical side what software do you, you do you work with i know it's so, an it's up, up to you the engineer yeah, what so this one with? because different files so we also came in somewhere also like the data so at times i work with the logic mm -hmm. i work with the Air Force studio and i work with the cubase as well mm -hmm. various files okay take us to jiggle and wine okay. um you know another classic song yeah, there and, and then tell us a story behind this song and its beat production and the making uh, well, it's one of the songs he sang first you produced or you played the beat he came to hear or you how did how did it happen well so jiggle and wine beat was made like 11 years ago what oh. yeah <laughs> it was funny right huh? it's it, this is funny so it was made like 11 years ago 11 or 12 like, yeah so that was i was in tema you know one of my students in tema. so i did this basically i wanted to use it for like a rhythm like you know a dance or rhythm because you have that kind of regime vibe mm -hmm. yeah so it was like okay still listening to this that that was like few minutes few weeks to the album yeah, so we were just doing something. I said, Child, listen to this radio. I want to use it like a radio. So he heard it, said, Yo, this is a spice vibe. Let's do it. So we just do it. We just did it. And then she, he called Spice the same day. We sent the file to Spice. In the next two days, she sent her vocal. Mm. And then that was it. We can't wait to hear it. <laughs> you should check it out. Great <laughs> music. I love it. These are the rhythms that test real dancehall artists, right? Straight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah. Any reason why Spice was the best fit for this? Yeah, I think that's his, that's her vibe. Uh -huh. Like, you know, because when you, you see her on stage, like, that's the vibe. Yeah. Carnival high vibe, energy. like, high energy. Yeah. yeah. Well, then let, so let's go into data mode for a, a bit. If you can yeah. just uh, roll out. I know there are different uh, parts that have been cut, but let's let's have a chance to feel the, in the, the, the instrumental and the viewers. Cheese. So was this isn't your regular kick, right? Yeah, I was going to ask. Is there a sample? Or this isn't no, your regular sample. kick. It was just... Just a vibe. I was just creating mm. it. it uh, just feel it, like, okay. it sounds like um. Mm. 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 Yeah. Very danceable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we yeah. have we have. Uh, so so that was last. So let me see. I think there was. So a, like a real to real move it. Yeah. yeah. So there, we have a tone which sound like that. Uh, I think. Where's the? Brass? Yeah. We can get a chance to soak that. Yeah. Okay. The the instrumentation. I like the sound. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. But remove some keys to, 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 to you, you, you reshaped it. I like the vibe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like, I like so this idea was like, so you know, when I played a bit first, Stone also had had that vibe. So okay, he he, he gets that vibe. Uh -huh. So he was he just okay. Let's add something like that. So you know, th this was one of the things that we just added to. Yeah. Like, you know, because it's an old beat, we yeah, just yeah. need to, you know, spice yeah, it, it, it up. Can we listen to only the instrumentation? Just yeah, if you like, unmute well. everything, only your instrumentation. Mm. So that's the kicks. Mm -hmm. We have some percussion. We have the snare. 
Have the brass. Chee! Mm. 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 Mix Master Gaze! Chee! Mm. Come on. Ooh. Two, go! Had up some hard issue, eh? Yeah. There's no way Stone will hear this and go like, nah. Nah, 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 nah. nah, nah, nah. And you kept this for 11 so years. Yeah. 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 yeah, so so it was something that I created for, like, for a rhythm. So just imagine Stone did this, Jupiter on it. Episode Maybe Elmer episode Elmer. Kill It, Shatter Kill It, yeah. like DSL Kill It, all the dancehall squad, like, it would be crazy. Then from there we transport it to maybe, you know, some of the Jamaican artists, artists and all that. So yeah. very soon, I'll make sure that I'll put this one as a rhythm. So. Would you say Stoneboy has brought out more Afro dance hall rhythms from you? Um, like the, 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 the relationship has... Yeah, I think <laughs> we started this, this Afro dance hall thing with Stone. Yeah. You know, years back, you know, blending the Afro thing with the dance hall thing. Like, and he, yeah. Yeah, he keeps saying that. Because even this song, if you hear the intro, you know what he, he was really talking about. Let's so, let's go check out the part where Spice comes in. Uh, yeah, so and, let, me, and let me go on the vocal. Yeah, and it, see it, crazy. The crazy. intro from Spice and Stone. You know yeah. that. Okay, this is where we are coming from. Ready if you wind up, me body coming over. Go on the queen of Jamaica, queen of dancehall, Spice. Ooh, we are gonna mash up the world, coming over. Go on, Ghana, Jamaica, run the program. Stone boy, come with the Afro dancehall. Ready? So we see the pain of dancer from Jamaica and the Afro dancer from Africa. Africa so yeah. Yeah. That's, so that's some it. crystal clear <laughs> advice. Um, what do you what do you work with? I know these might be trade secrets, but the ones you can share. I know I know Gazi does master classes sometimes, yeah, so you can yeah, follow yeah, his yeah, yeah. yeah straight. <laughs> Treatment of vocals. Yeah. Um what do you uh, recommend? You know, the ones you can what you can sh- say or share uh, about it. So that because th- th- it's it sounds crystal crisp. Cl- yeah, crisp. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this thing. You know, as a as a, as a producer. You don't need to do much because most of the times what we do is the more you try to compress or work on the vocal at times you destroy yes it. you destroy it so we mostly with this song let, let me share the chain of plugging that i use Oof. if you if you watch here mm-hmm. you see we have a whole lot of YouTube. spaces even there for to put yeah. More. Mm-hmm. but yeah. uh, you know i just put on my compressor mm-hmm. which is a default compressor from the the, the software, the software, mm-hmm. and then I put on a DSR w- a gate, which mm-hmm. is also a default. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then mm-hmm. I have a noise gate, you know, mm-hmm. to help reduce mm-hmm. some small small Pops noise around, mm-hmm. which is a wave plugin. Mm-hmm. So I have a DSR two from wave plugin to cut to cut, you know, some of the highs and the everything. highs, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I have the limiter, you know, mm-hmm. to push it up and give it the heaviness. Then I have an EQ to balance, you know, the vocals mm-hmm. for it to be bright. Then mm-hmm. I have another compressor to overall mm. you know after everything just to hold it mm. and tighten it so i can put up my gain and everything mm. from here mm. if i want to mm. you know bring the vo- the vocals up and oh, everything yeah. like and, and is there any, uh, is there any de- uh, 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 reverb yeah so uh, with the sound i side chain that so here i send it okay and you bust so, it up so and when then. i go here to have the delay the reverb mm. i have another reverb i have the chorus mm. and i have the um stereo span so mm. it helps to you Open know express up, the thing yeah. and i have another delay which is like a telephone vibe so when you're listening to the vocal you see it delays like a telephone on it okay yeah, yeah. play it yeah play it let's, let's hear it oh how how quick how quick does Stone write his songs on these days? He he's like he freestyles most of the times so when when you get the rhythm. He try to freestyle it depending on the rhythm that is coming. Uh-huh. Like, and we can chop. You know, there was a song that we did. We need to freestyle and arrange the freestyle as a song, <laughs> and then I'm fixing the lyrics. <laughs> so if you let me bust you, so that is where we get Putu from. Ah, it was a freestyle. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So you hear the beat from Swiss. Okay, um, uh, 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 this thing will be right. Uh, uh. So there was a video that somebody was recording in the studio, and that video, boom. Uh. You understand? It's okay. Then let's give it to them like that. Talking about <laughs> that, what are your? Well, how do you guys protect your music? Because that one, for instance, leak. Was it supposed to be a song that wasn't supposed to leak? Do you record yeah, sessions alone? What are, What are the rules and regulations around your recordings? Mostly, he has been. You know, um, it's my student as well. You know, now he can record himself. He, he does all this recording, and you know, 
you know, pre even pre mix some of the things to, oh, nice. to, 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 to let him feel. So he just mostly it has been him. Almost all some of the previous album was recorded by him. Like he would oh. sit home record and he would just send me the file. I would go there to pick the files. Or if maybe there are other features that I need to be there to record them that I do. But mostly he records himself. Mm. Like he knows how to do all these things. Mm. Yeah, so he's an engineer as well. How would you describe <laughs> Stoneboy's work ethic? Because from what we see, we can see that he's probably in Ghana today. He's out tomorrow. He's at a show today. Tomorrow he's in class doing a presentation. Yeah. How would you describe his work ethic? Also based on you saying he's a student, he's your student. Yeah, so um, based on those things, you know, we, we have a mobile studio where, you know, at times he uses it to travel. So when it, where he landed, yeah, he just set up his small studio, which is PKS and where, because I think, you know, that music has been his first choice. So he always makes sure that um, with some years to come, you know, here we feel like, okay, if you are old, you don't need to do music again mm, and all that. Unfortunately. But that's how it looks about. He feels like, no, I can do, like, mm -hmm. I need to do it any time or any year I want, based on, you know, how I feel. So, as I speak now, we can even have, like, we have, like, 10 or 15 albums even sitting down and waiting. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> we, we always need to put in break. So, that's, that's, so that's, that, means, that means next year we are seeing an album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because 10 or 15 <laughs> albums, yeah, actually. <laughs> that's a lot, oh, of, that's a lot of songs, that's, yeah. That's even more, like, it, it will be more wow. because... We have records that is 10 years that is st still years to come, records that is 50 years that is still years to come. Um, let's go to your next, the next production. That was which one? Um, yeah, I also co produced on Better 10. Better 10, yes, yeah. featuring Duncan Mighty. I yeah. mean, we were fortunate to have that's when we chipped in. Uh, I think I please a call. I was talking to Chief, and then coincidentally, uh, Duncan was there. Ooh. Um, yeah, and then we had Duncan come by the studio and said, mm -hmm. Yeah, we're working on some magic with, with Stone Boy. Um, yeah. Stone Boy. So yeah, so they have like two or three records. So, oh, put in, so they should wait, watch out for more records from. Stone and Duncan as well. Let, let's let's get to feel that rhythm yeah. as well. That's that's also another lovely song. Yeah, and uh, lovely song. yeah, for me I, on that song, I feel like Stone gave uh, Duncan uh, some massive competition on that music. <laughs> yeah, like uh, he took he took him to a space that he had to catch up. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I felt like when I listened to the song. Check it out though. Ooh. See how rich it is. So this one, we did some live bass on it because you know it's a uh -huh. high live vibe. So uh -huh. yeah. the guitars yeah. and the bass. Cool. Let's appreciate each stem by each stem. If you can. So let's go. Yeah, let's go through let's it. Let's go with a K. Yeah. Some nice, sweet, soft. Yeah. Cheese. Yeah. Very yeah. soft. Very. Have the perfection. The Congress. You know. Come on, come on. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Then we go with the shakers. Uh -huh. Wow, some rules. How do you hear that? Yeah, <laughs> some rules. So let's go with the strings. We have some xylophone vibe here. Gazi. Gazi, this is some vibes. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to say that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Give them some brass. I will leave them for you and take the beat. <laughs> some brass here. Yeah. in there. So it does. Mm, Charlie, high life power. Uh -huh. Serious high life music. So here we have some live bass. Wow. More instruments. Yeah, that's bass. Some brass to here. Ooh. Ooh. 
That lead will be massive. Yeah. Charlie, this is our sound. The instrumentation you can listen it. to. Yeah. Yeah. You can listen to, you know. And I like that there's some intentionality about the instrumentation. Yeah, like, what? I like that there's some intentionality yes. about the instrumentation. Yes, yes. Very African, like, truly. Exactly. Now I'm itching to hear vocals on it. So that's that. You understand? Money can buy house. Money cannot buy home. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, see, Stone gave this guy he's on the song. What's that? What's that? What's that? Uh, oh, man. You guys need to do acoustic versions of these songs, man. Yeah, this version. We will spot this version too. Oh. Listen to it like this all day, you know. All day, yeah. Time. Crazy. Banga. Beautiful music. Beautiful music. So wait, but guys, I mean, so what are we think? What are we saying? Is it going back to the? Is it going back to the high? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, we've, yeah. we've exhausted the digital instruments. This is not Afrobeats. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is Afrobeats. Oh, Lily. Nah. <laughs> no, I what, what, where do we put this? Ah, this is highlight music highlight, for me. Yeah. This is highlight. Mm. highlight this is highlight music yeah, for me. Right. I mean. I, I, I went back on our on our YouTube's and I was reading some of the comments on what people were saying about these things, you know, and all. But look, for me, this is this is this is yeah. I think we can take all the, all the insults. I mean, hey, who cares? People have their opinions, right? This is fine. But for me, this is it's classic. You know, it's classic, and I, I I love the fact that you know one of the big songs on the album is a, a strong representation of something that we've been speaking heavily of. And may we not forget. May we not forget our roots. Let's go to another song. Um, take me to the intro. Okay. Um, Psalm 23. Yes. Um, I, uh, yes. Psalm 23. Psalm 23 yeah. uh, powerful. I mean, I, I wish I could ask Stone. Maybe Sri, when he catch him, they ask him. If that is the, the, the prayer of the home, you know, maybe before he sets off or before he jumps on stage, you know, every time. And it, for me, it was just beautiful for him, for me to... Um, uh, listen to a song that he had converted the Bible verse, you know, a very pow powerful Bible verse uh, into good music. Mm -hmm. I love to hear the making of the song as well. It's a good intro to an yeah, album, yeah, yeah, if you yeah, ask yeah. me. Um, I can imagine the number of songs that he has that uh, that could be intros to the album, mm -hmm. you, you know. know and album, you, you always pay attention. Who to who intro. did or who does the arrangement of the songs even on the final playlist? You know, at times we leave it to the whole team. Like we all sit down and then we try to arrange mm. them, you know, because mostly when it comes to the artist he has his direction as well who we, we'll preach his directions to us yeah and then the whole team will be like, okay let's put it together mm. do you have an idea what about record label influence on selection of the songs you know because i mean i'm sure you worked on so many songs yeah, so and with, with record label at times mostly they play around with features you know depending on what they're also looking at maybe mm. they will need this top future or that mm. or name mm. but mm. when it comes to uh, arrangements maybe they leave it to the artist the team, yeah the artist, the artist. Too. Mm. Let, let's let's listen to the intro so this is the this is the intro song on the on the up and running album let's play it so let's go with the cake do you want us to yeah yeah it? let's appreciate percussions okay, first sure. let's go yeah. let's go let's go let's go 
So I think this song starts with uh, the chord. What, what was that? Was that intentionality to the kind of kicks you wanted to work with your mixing of this? Because it, it all has one particular language to it. Yeah, you know, I understand Stone Boy uh, because we've been working for long. So, you know, I make sure that all his songs sounds like, you know, mm -hmm. have a certain direction. Mm. You understand? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So okay. I think, you know, because we, we've worked for some time now, I know his direction. And some of his songs, it doesn't need to take me much time to work on it because I already have different presets from st from mm. his voice and uh, yeah. his directions. Yeah. Yeah. That's when the engineer, the, you know, the producer and the artist have got that uh, relationship. Another yeah. artist too, yeah. it's Joker and Black Hole, they have a similar relationship, you yeah. know. Let's appreciate this. I love this intro. Okay, I think production wanted to increase the feed coming to them. Yeah. 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 was produced by my Ghanaian brother Samsne. Oh, oh Samsne did yeah, this yeah. one. Uh-huh. Yeah, That's so a lot of data. it feel like you know when an engineer or a producer has to you know hand over his data to another person to work on it because i'm sure you've experienced that several times and has your work also been worked on by another person how do you feel about it i think um you know with this music thing is is a whole broad thing like that people need to understand you know a few days ago i, I saw a twitter post that there was a guy asking who is the best mixing engineer again and i saw my name in there oh like, yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah so it was the, the mention names of like me, Kewa, Posiji, mm -hmm. Fortune Day, and Apiotus, a couple of them. But you know, I saw the majority that, okay, hey, so me too, I did do things. So like, mm -hmm. I, I never mm -hmm. even knew that people, people are, you know, watching and, you know, listening to what you're doing. So when it comes to sound, you know, we have people who are beat makers. So now beat makers are people who maybe they will just send you beats. They are there, they create beats and send. And we have, when it comes to, when you call yourself a producer, it means you know you have to know how to arrange mm -hmm. you know direct mm -hmm. write mm -hmm. mix master you know you have to have idea of all this so some of 
us are not producers. Some of us are beat makers. Some of us are only engineer or recording engineer. Mm -hmm. Some of us are mastering engineer. Mm -hmm. So now, so, yeah. So so, um, so now your when they when people send you their data, yeah. um, do they give you the liberty to change? you know a certain percussion that was used or a certain guitar that was used or some strings and how do they feel about it if they hear the final thing and it wasn't exactly what they they did so me mostly um you know i tried to collaborate with the producer like you know there was one of the songs on the album when we finished the producer said, oh there was something missing in his beat that's okay so what is it let's work on it so no no he really didn't send he sent a file but i've particular tone or something was not in the data mm -hmm. you understand so he has to resend that thing for me to fix it and all that so i make sure that the producer need to feel like okay because mm -hmm. basically when the song is out it's produced by that producer so it has to be on the level because when a producer is producing a beat mm -hmm. he has an idea of what he wants to hear so when it changes it sounds some way so i mostly collaborate with the producer when i'm mixing mixing your song like mm -hmm. for a producer then i'll come back to the artist okay check your vocals check everything is everything balanced do you hear your backups do you hear this and all mm -hmm. that you understand but the producer check it is everything okay your elements your kick do you want it hard soft what do you want what do you expect do you have a, a, a reference and all that mm -hmm. so i always end up you know getting that vibe with the producer mm -hmm. and then with the artist for we to achieve what we want at times we even do a group with me the producer the manager or somebody then we'll be when we finish we put in we listen everybody bring the comments and then we work on it and we are good to go how long does it take you between creating of the song producing mixing mastering and then knowing that the song is ready to be consumed yeah it can take years it can take days it can take hours okay. it depends on the direction you are looking at because probably so let's say if i meet you today as an artist mm -hmm and then um, I produce for you. It depends, you know, if you want to release a song tomorrow, maybe I can be on it and work it throughout the night and then give you the song. Maybe you are planning to release the song six months time. Maybe I have to take time and also, you know, but you can still get the same vibe that you want, mm -hmm. depending on how you want it or the time you want to drop it. You can say, okay, let's record this. Next two weeks, I'm dropping it. I'll say, okay, then cool. Let me listen over it again and see. At times, it ends up maybe me adding some other element or vibe to it. But based on what we are doing at this instant, if we, we feel like it's still good to go, fine. Because what's the longest? Yeah. What's the longest you've taken finishing a song for either Stone Boy or anybody yeah, else? Just longest. because you said years. Yeah. So, so with the years, maybe I'll just leave the data there. It's not like every day I'll be playing it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe I will be visiting in time. In time, they feel like. Ah, what play maybe if i add some horns here it would be, it would be, it would be nice and you know one thing that i have to even with manoji on mm -hmm. that last album mm -hmm. too we, we, it was like a five years song before yeah we featured, yeah you mentioned um, yeah that and the horns that was added was that instant that was not part of the five years mm. so you understand uh -huh. so the you, intro to the song yeah, you mean? Pa, 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 yeah that was yeah. like okay oh now let's visit the song okay we want this song to be on the album okay let me open it and listen so when I heard it, I so said, no, you know, we have some magic, like some intro. And mm -hmm. basically, it was even an outro. Mm -hmm. And so I said, no, this thing can't be an outro. I should bring it. If I said, oh, so you sure? Say, so bring it. You see what I did. <laughs> so I brought it. And then it was like, okay, it's cool as an intro as well. It's like commanding. So you see, so it depends when you want to drop the song. I can go back and listen to it. And I feel like adding something to it. Or you can even suggest something for us to add, which must also be a plus to it. Right. Okay. I, I wanted to ask um, <clears throat> the Sound 23 record, right? Mm -hmm. What kind of genre is that? Because I'm listening to the production. <laughs> it doesn't sound reggae. But Stone's lyrics sounds yeah, reggae. reggae. What, what, because uh, clearly when you strip down the, the production, yeah. doesn't sound reggae to me at all. Yeah. But Stone. So we, we, can, we can put it like a dance song. It's dance song? Yeah. It's, but does it still dance? You got, it's, you like know, a, we've had, it's, it's like a hip-hop dancehall vibe because you have like hip-hop kicks but the rhythm is like you know and what he's doing it on is like more of like dancehall vibe when that 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 you understand okay but so he has of a dancehall and hip-hop so that's that's like what you call it is it what raga yeah it's like raga maybe i'm really confused because you know we talked about this the last time that sometimes it, not sometimes the production determines the yeah, genre but, of the but music I also, but I also put in the caveat that 
it's also possible to have a production where somebody chooses a different performance yes. style. Yes. So this is one of those um, instances where the beat is not your typical dance hall reggae uh, energized. But the lyrics are. But the lyrics, lyrics are. are. It's like when we have um, Bujubantin or Movado on Jay Z feature. Mm. It's a hip hop song, but Movado. Or like Nas and Demi Dem- Dem- Mali. Dem- Mali. Exactly. Okay. It will still be. So, so I'm asking this because mm-hmm. we we've talked about how often our award schemes categorize uh-huh. songs wrongly. Yes. This is a typical example yeah. of what I think might be a thorn yeah, in the problem. flesh <laughs> for people. So let's let's. But I, but let's I don't think it should be a thorn this, in, the, this, in the flesh. This is like a dancehall. Yeah. So basically, this will be like an under. Could you play that? It's just a percussion. Yeah. It's a reggae dancehall song. It's a reggae dancehall song. Yeah. So this song, Jay. So yeah. you realize that this song now perfectly fits. What should qualify as a reggae, reggae dance or category, category or yeah. nom- 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 nomination? Mm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because he has elements of reggae yeah. dance. Wait, 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 so yeah. strip it again. Play the, drum. <laughs> play, the, play the drum line again. Just just drums. Yeah, is that That's why I know it's a dance or vibe. Yeah. The tempo to the yeah. they, they confuse yeah, because it's so slow. Uh, yeah. This is just if you see, you know what's confusing you, the piano. If, and the, and the, the, the piano is what's confusing you. Me? Because uh, no, to, to, make him, you ask the, <laughs> to make you ask the question, yeah. if, you, if you think about it, uh, Byron's um, Taliban's is a similar structure. Is a similar structure to, to this. Charlie mm-hmm. makes me want to go back to my, my, my rap days. <laughs> but anyway, okay. Um, which which song on the album, um, aside the three you produced, you know, um, also like it happens to be your personal favorite? Let's go into that one. Um, let's check um, Lovely Weather. Lovely Weather, yeah. yes. I listened to that song. The first time I listened to it, I was, I was insulting stood in my head small. Then after about two minutes, I said, ah, oh, Charlie, F.O. That <laughs> yeah. featured... Um, uh, lovely, was, no, 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 that was just that him. one is the the one Memories. you're talking about. No, 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 is lovely Amaria weather. Baby. No, no, lovely weather lovely is great. Weather, no, 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 not a feature. Yeah, yeah. I listened yeah. to after after about two minutes. I said, oh wait, wait a second. <laughs> it's 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 entering my soul. Let's check it out. Yeah. Great song. And there's a particular sound to this album. Okay. So you see, this album has a certain tempo to it. Yeah. Except it the, the one the. It's a soft, hard album. Yeah. yeah. I get you. Yeah. I get you. You know, I, like, I, I have a confession to make. Yes. When I listened to the album, mm-hmm. I felt like songs like um, JJ JJ mm-hmm. shouldn't have been on it. Yeah. You know why? Yeah, because it's the very song different. Al- because the, the mood of the album yeah, was made. Jeje Reje misfit for me. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah, I, get I feel what you like mean. I feel like Stone was and then on, the one with the with Spice. Yeah, I feel like mm-hmm. it should have been treated as a single outside right. the album because right. mm-hmm. I'm not too sure what the direction of the album was when mm-hmm. you guys put the songs mm-hmm. together. But mm-hmm. having listened to the album over and over again, I feel like you know what? I I'm was in the mood. Out. There's yeah, some yeah. softness. You yeah. understand? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I get what I you feel mean. So, you so, you vibe you understand? so when I, so when I was listening to that, you know, so what I did when I listened to albums, I listened to it like chronologically. Mm-hmm. Then after I put it on shuffle. Yeah. And shuffle took me through different emotions in that soft era. Then all of a sudden, JJ came and like, what are you doing here, brother? Done away. I'm like, yo, I don't need to. <laughs> I, like, I don't need to hear that right now. You, know? you, are, you, are, you are vibing low key somewhere. Then your, your loud friend comes. I <laughs> know, uh, only yeah, uh, very like fair you. point. Yeah. Well made. It's true. That's an air But, you see, but that's, a, that's a problem with the way he's consuming the album. Yeah. Well, somebody too might start. Like you said, on shuffle, blah, blah, people to listen to singles. Yeah. So maybe if you want to listen to end to end, definitely. 100%. Like, I feel like that song, JJ J and Akele Bay, right? Should have just, it should have just been a two-pack EP. Yeah. I believe yeah. it should have just been a two-pack EP. Let's enjoy, because the last time I, 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 I felt stone like this was um, Alonga Janshin. 
right? Exactly. Mm. Yeah, you know, he had that mellow, you know, feel in there, you know, just giving. I feel like he was, he, this album made me feel like Stone was entering some R&B space. Some yeah. R&B reggae yeah. dance, yeah. Yeah. something, you understand? Exactly. I'm like, that my was boy, was like, what's going on? And you know, features and the kind of sound. Yeah. 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 No, that, yeah, it's, I, I know this this album is a, um, is a, is a matured It's a mature Very album. Very mature yeah. album. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Maybe we can add the Jiggle and Wine to your two pack. So let's go back. Let's go back into <laughs> lovely weather, and then we'll play Ekelebe. Yeah, Ekelebe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like you said, check the rhythms on this one as well. Very, very low, mellow. Mm. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm loving the live guitar in there. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, smooth. Yeah, yeah. Oof, that's a lot of recording you guys did there, you know. Yep, that's nice. And Stone Boy can do harmony. Harmony. Uh-huh. Ah. Hey. Open top countryside. Oh, Charlie climbing up Ooh. the bridge. Oh, I didn't go there. This is open top countryside. I didn't say uh-huh. anything. Yeah. Why are you explaining? One hand on the stair, one hand on the, you, yeah, on the, on the countryside. Yeah. <laughs> the countryside, Plumbing. aka uh, um, uh, the countryside in your passenger in the, seat. In the interest of time, let me let me yeah, rush you to Ekelebe. Yes, Ekelebe. I keep I keep tripping on that word, but let's go to Ekelebe. That's another another massive jam. And uh, this as well. Uh, how did it? How did it happen? Uh, what's what's the story behind the song? Mm-hmm. Ekelebe. Yes. Ekelebe is a single before the album ended. Yeah. I think um, Odumedu was in Ghana, uh-huh. and then we, we needed to do something together. So we just called him, and that was a song that it was a song that recorded already. Beats already produced. prepared. Yeah, yeah, song done already. Okay. Yeah, produced by Street Beats. Mm-hmm. You know, one of our producers. So mm-hmm. Street Beats. Uh, familiar Street Beats. Yeah. Yeah. Street beats. So, give, give me the beats. Beat. Oh, Fami- oh, yeah. Fami- yeah. Fami- yeah. Fami- yeah. Fami- yeah. Liquid beats. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. yeah. Liquid beats. Yeah. Yeah. So, streets is part of you know your your guys. Yeah. So, you know, he just dropped the ten. <laughs> okay, this is the jam <laughs> that like, it has to be. Mm. So then we mm. just gave them. Mm. And he said, okay, cool. Mm. So mm. with that one, I have the the mastered file here. Let me open that. Mm. Uh, He's got everything on this. I actually have a request. I'll leave it to later. So Jay, kindly remind me. Oh, we bought uh, extra time, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 that's what I'm saying. When I say, you say, when I say, you say, fine. Yeah. 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 You wait time. 10 one. I have six questions. Yeah. 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 So if you have J J J Jiggle and Wine, then Jiggle and Wine. Hey, that's another easy one. Three packy beats. Three packy beats. You go to Russia, For me with uh, Wyclef. Okay. 
Yeah. yeah. Who worked on that ins- that that instrumentation as uh, well? One of the UK producers. Mm. Um, I think I don't really have the name, but mm. Mm. It, they did that in the UK. Pray for me. Let's go. Yeah, that's a lot of data Gazi has on it. Yeah, <laughs> on it. I'm sure you have a whole hard drive for stone. Yeah. <laughs> one terabyte. One terabyte. <laughs> Five terabytes. <laughs> Do you sometimes feel some way like, yeah, I quite have a studio. No, no. Me, I have been uh, like, so today I even have to, you know, try and wake up. Because yesterday mm. I yeah. had a session with D-Blood. Ooh, you know, we yeah. had a whole night section. So it's something that we've done for <laughs> me. I'm always like, yeah. we can do our to our yeah, yeah, We don't have problem. We yeah. do, uh, <laughs> do, do, you, do you have, as a producer, do you have um, listeners fatigue? Me? Mm. Not really. You know, sound, people who do sound for live shows, right? Mm-hmm. They often say that, or say, no, no, no. in the sense that they've been close to loud speakers. Oh, 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 oh. So now, even if it's loud, they don't, they don't really... Like yeah. someone has to tell me, I don't know, know what you want. Yeah, me <laughs> so, I, 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 <laughs> so I wonder if producers like yourself, you yeah. know, always buried in the in the, in the, in the studio with speakers, you know, you get like, because when you get new inspiration to play a different sound, mm-hmm. you know, or a different instrument that you think you would add to the record or take out an instrument, like I, I really want to get to the mind of the producer and find out how your brain cells have been working with, with, with that. <laughs> You do you take a shower to just no no no, no 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 no. <laughs> I think it's it's I don't know how most of the time this thing happen in how you start you start the journey like you know how I started okay because you really want to do this so you are always with like music like always around so when you you, you get there you don't even feel tired with anything like you you are always ready to listen to something or to do something that's how my has been so and what is so what is Gazi listening to when he's not producing what type of music most of times i don't really listen to anything i'm just a random person hey. when i'm going and it's on radio and it's playing something fine if i want to play a sample of my something i was doing maybe i just i put it on my phone i'll just connect to the car and i'll play apart from that when i sit in a car and on and the radio is on i'm going if somebody's yeah, song, not okay. specific to anything he goes I don't so. really so I, I always pick ideas like Randomly. Randomly, but mm-hmm. you know, some of us who is okay today. I'm going. I'm going to l- listen to a reggae. Yeah, or depends jazz, when so. I have a a project to do, mm-hmm. or I have to do something with maybe Rocky Downey. So when I'm going, okay, okay, Rocky Cry, this is his direction. Okay, let me listen to some so, directions like this and see if mm. I can get an idea or even a sample from something. And does it work? Yeah, at times but, it works. Or you just you just need to go back to your random bag as like. Oh, no, 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 at times it depends on who I'm going to work with. At times I have to, you know. I think when I'm going to Nigeria, oh, like Pato said, let's do something. I'll listen to, okay, more vibes that, you know, something. Yeah, you know, or yeah. maybe David said, let's do something. At times I'll be, but if I have something that I know this one is a master, I mean, I don't even worry myself. How, how important is it to always have an element of culture, you know, in, in production? You know, because you worked with Pato, yeah. you worked with Rocky and all that. But, you know. Um, always call one go for Ghana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How important is it as a producer, you know, to always put an element of our our because you are getting our yeah, culture exactly. in there, so that wherever it travels to, yeah. people can trace it back to say that oh, this is actually mm-hmm. a Ghanaian sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, it depends on. Okay, I think first of all, just drop the output to the studio for me. Yeah. For me, yeah, yeah, just just no, just lower. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, they said about twenty percent. I think they're having a feedback in there. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah. So m- basically. Um, it depends uh, the direction. There are some direction like you know when you listen to Jiggle and White, ha- you can't really feel some vibe. But there are some few percussion things that you sound like okay, this one too has an African touch or mm. a Ghanaian touch. Mm. Uh, it depends on the feeling. Mm. There are some sounds there. No matter how it is, you <laughs> just have to do it as it is. Right. Like, it as right. Right. But you know, it's always good to add that Ghanaian touch or that African touch. Mm. It depends on some of the the plugins that I use. Okay. It also helps. Okay. You know, because some of the plugins, you know, it has the sound already of mm. the African the African touch. Even though if you want to play it anyhow, mm. the, the sound only gives you that. So I have some few selected percussions, mm. rims. Mm hi heart and some mm-hmm. elements mm-hmm. that you know I, I always like it is always it's in my preset. production yeah mm-hmm. it's always in the production and mm-hmm. those are the things that brings it up okay so that, that basically that makes it easy for, easy. for so you to you don't need to really go and then find something to make sure that you are really fixing something Ghanaian or African but based on some of the tones you've already already selected it helps you to 
to get that vibe. Now that you mentioned this, I find it's very interesting when you say Jiggle and Wine was 11 years old. Yeah. Because 11 years ago, I won't believe that certain technologies were not yeah. available, right? So looking back 11 years ago and looking at the final work, what would you say mm. or how would you say technology played a role in giving you this yeah. final, final, with, final oh, with, the, with some of the, the plugins, it depends. Some of them have been updated. Okay. Mostly the mm. thing that it has been ad- updated is the system. But some of the plugins are always there. Okay. Has been there. Okay. It's just been upgraded. Like iPhone has been there starting from one five six. Yeah. And now we are we are on sixty. So yeah. depending on the year, there's something that they just add to it. Right. So with the jingle and white data, trust me, I couldn't even open it again. When I opened some elements were missing. Oh, uh-huh. yes. Because uh-huh. I was using Mac now. Uh-huh. When when I did I was using Windows. some computer. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Windows some computer at the studio, like yeah. a studio computer. Why you put one C Windows? So the now, guy you know some computer. computer. No, no, because <laughs> if it's about to mention Mac. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so for mention Windows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I need to send to one of my youngest uh, producers, um, Jay Khan okay. Beat Two. He has the the old uh, software like that. Okay. With the, the packs uh, and everything. Yes. Um, which, hypersonic, mm. uh, Nexus. Nexus, and Nexus was like Nexus one, but we have the three, even four now. Look at that. So then, what, what when I was opening, it wasn't seen because it was Nexus one that I yeah. used. Look at that. So I need to send it to one of my guys who has the old Nexus to open and s- stem them for me. Ah, uh-huh. so I wasn't able to open the data again. <coughs> wow. When I opened, some things were missing because of the update the of the update, software. Yeah. The software, uh, even though now. there's one, but now I'm 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 I'm, I'm using three. So the one. It's, I can't really find it. Wow. And, you know, battery too as well. So I need to send battery, to somebody. Says, yeah. yeah battery one, right? Now we need like battery five, self or six. So wow. imagine. So at times, some of them doesn't work because okay. right now, uh, you know, right now people even use things from uh, when, when we go to the, the bait and then or that some people now use like 48 and mm. whatever 90s and all that mm. but that time like the 40 44 True. Nah. 44 now nah. so you open it in some files and then it will start dragging so you need to convert them back to that you understand wow. so yeah but so it's even a lesson for me when that thing happens okay right now any project that i do i'll make sure that i will spawn the stems too down okay so 20 years it's still audio file that right. i don't need to map yeah, it to the, the yeah. plugin yeah. because off, there are some plugins you yeah can get no matter in. no matter how much you say you would love you know uh being a sound engineer and a yeah. producer yeah. with the up and running album which of the songs did you not like to open the data Everybody has got that one song that's when you yeah. open it. When, when you, you have open to go it back, you can go walk. <laughs> you, you just the press open. Yeah, because there was some work to be done. Two hours, two hours, two hours, yes. two hours and come and come back. Well, so me, I'm a bit weird. Miss, if I don't understand myself, because <laughs> the way I work, it's some way. Mm. You see, people. One of my friends, CT Beat, was telling me about uh, another producer who has an alarm on his phone, mm-hmm. even when he's working when he's working mm-hmm. like serious like we are recording and the alarm plays okay break he has to stop everything and just go and maybe walk, walk around, around. Mm. but me i don't know how to i don't know i just have to do it like okay if i, w- I want to complete something i always okay okay this i have to finish the vocal mix today then uh, so when i finish finish but when i don't finish like you'll if be it on it take me 10 hours to finish it so none of these are al- the songs on the album data wise give you any challenges yeah. or uh, so the yeah. way I arrange my things at times, it makes it easier for me. So if you, if you check on, on, on my computer right now, you see everything is closed. Mm-hmm. Everything is, when I open, I have everything That's right here. OCD. Yeah, yes, there, yeah. there's, there's yeah. things of OCD. Yeah. 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 Most yeah. people think well, you can relate it. Yeah. Yeah. But look at this guy's computer. Yeah. He's opening it for you to see. <laughs> Clean. Mark uses um, his sickness. Yeah. 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 We're, going to play, we're going to play one song before we... Uh, yeah. this, this one is... Uh, pray this one for is me. Pray for see, me, yes. See, w- one thing before we go on eh? Uh, yeah. If I want to see the channel names and the labeling. Okay. So we have kick only. So with a kick only, you know, I can, you know... Yeah. Manipulate it how I want, mm-hmm. and I have all the drums here. So let me omit it and remove it. So the kick, yeah. Sorry, a bit more volume yeah. in the background, yeah. Yeah, okay. Have the kick, and then I have all the applications. So, with here, you know, I can track it, do everything I want. Depending on how I want it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then I, you come here with the tones. Everything is in here. Yeah, and 
we go on the bass. Mm-hmm. We go on the guitars. So I have the master instrument which has all the drums. All the tracks. All the, uh-huh. So this is the master for it. Then we we'll go on the vocals. We have the lead vocal. The load. So we have the backups. <coughs> so every backups also come in. So at times I can do with the so like the treatment on the vocals. Right. Yeah. Oh man. the backups. My cliffs. My cliffs channel. One, one a bit of a dumb question though but how do you feel you know for, for people who deal with audios how do you feel when you have the audio of a great artist you know at your on your on your day, on, uh, on your machine on your timeline you know have you I'm, I don't know if um, any of the songs with um, uh, the other artist that Stoneboy has done you know is it Jamil and Co and all of them Jamil have, have, have they have they've come to your yeah <laughs> How do you feel? Yeah. How do you feel? And I'm asking this question. I, I, it's only if you deal with audios you understand this question. Yeah, yeah, we feel great because you know there are some of the these artists that we feel like, like someone like Sean Paul, like how? Yeah, like, you know his vocals are going to be on your future. Sean Paul and Sean Paul sent you his his files, he. you know, and all that. And Charlie, mean that. you just <laughs> mean like that. the legends you listen to and you're yeah, like the vocals are with you to play with. You have vocals from Wyclef, you have Sean Paul, you have Jamil. Yeah, spice. You like really? Let's yeah, let's like okay. I, I'm just f- fast tracking. Let's go to the one with Jamil and um uh the the Tentic so, Larus. Yeah, yeah, Tentic, yeah, Larusso Overlord. Overlord. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, who did who did that one? Street beats. Street beats. Yeah. That's Have another done crazy already. Yeah. Pardon me. Memories. Memories. We haven't done memories, memories yet. Memories we'll, is a beautiful. We'll, we'll, beautiful we'll wrap that. We'll wrap up with that. Um, let's go to Lady that. Is a lover yeah, boy. let's go to Overlord. I mean, that's another crazy song. And anytime Larusso and Stoneboy come together, you know these these two will bring fire. Um, I can't wait to check it out. There it is on the screen. I love it. Mm. I like this. Okay, 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 okay. Let's appreciate it. Let's appreciate it. Hold on, hold on. let's go step by step. Let's appreciate okay, this. So what this you one, have? Uh, I think I only have the master. Okay. The master. Let, let me. Oh, okay, I have the instrument. Okay, one minute. The drums. Yes. Okay, sure. It will be there by all means. This is Gazi now. <laughs> I heard some. Mm, I want to. I want to find it. I want to find it. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's some nice delayed drum there. Drop is some vocal chops. As a vocal chop, man. Yeah. Vocals. Straight. 
Mad. <laughs> I know our time is up. We'll be wrapping up soon. Don't worry, chill. For me, yeah, it's the harmonies. Us. We are, you know, we are wrapping up though, but we'll be just looking at the technical review of Up and Running album with Super Producer Mix Master mm. Gazi. Let's let's go to let's go to the memories now to wrap us up okay. on this. This is a beautiful album. You should go yeah, and listen to. It. Yeah, memories. I'm asking for no, memories it's now. Not memories. Which, yeah, yeah, ask it please now, please. For zero uh, uh, Gazi, confess. How should get memories ready? Eh? Uh-huh. This is a humble ask. Yes. That song that did not make it to the album. Mm-hmm. Can you tease it for us? <laughs> <laughs> that particular oh, song. Let's take the key and lock the door. Yes. <laughs> that particular song. Just and, tease it. And maybe beat him small and let's because see. it's not happening. Tease <laughs> a, a small tease because small tease. boy has history of teasers going viral yes. and becoming Just tease massive hits, yeah. right? Tease it for us. Hey, this, this one. Is this, is, this, is, this is an engineer's nightmare. This is the big <laughs> conversation. We make it happen. An engineer's nightmare. <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. tease, tease, Just tease, tease it for us. Program, we'll tease Give some. me like twenty yeah. seconds. We will tease some. Thank you. Slow ah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, that tease. song that did not make it to that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, like, uh, whilst he works on that, you know, that's a very difficult thing to a choice to make for artists because uh, eventually you have a lot of songs yeah, and you're look at asking songs, yourself, look at that. Charlie, which one do I put in? And then after release of the album, then you wish, ah, Charlie, like for add a song <laughs> to that. <laughs> Or nah, like I'm not for other song no. right now, you know. Um, because I mean, you pick a song like the JJ, like you're saying. I mean, it's you hear the song one time, you know it's a hit. Anytime you lose this song, ten years from today, it'll still be a classic hit. You. you have to pray that nobody releases a song similar to it, so that then it looks like you <laughs> have gone to sample <laughs> another person's yeah um, music. Do we have? Do we have it ready now. One minute. One uh-huh. minute. Eh? It's, it's loaded. We'll, yeah. we'll get that. <laughs> Go and listen to memories on the album. Go and stream the album. It is. This it's a, it's this, this. This. But but the points that you you shared with regards to um you know the the mood of the album and some songs on there I I agree with you a hundred percent. I think it was a very difficult thing for me to accept. To mm. Yeah. You know, but th- there must have been a reason why it, it took that um, turn because as you listen to the album, then okay, I think is that, is that a tease? No, me, I just play something. See you. Then I'll come He's to you. He's a lawyer. I'll take a beg you. Okay. I want to listen. <laughs> He's been, okay. been legal now. Oh, I'll just play something. Play something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Just play. Ah. Some two lines before you. Uh-huh. Some two uh-huh. lines before okay. you. Okay, okay, okay. Next year, we come like a guy. There's all some sort of sound like a piano. Mama, I cut it. Yeah, and I'm a piano. You are warned. You are warned. Oh. 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 Are you telling me that this song did not make it to the album? <laughs> wow. It will make it to the other one. He has closed it. Uh, <laughs> you close them. Close this song did not make it to the album. Hey, wow. no, no, I, I believe him. Eleven albums, I believe him. Yeah, but, but how you close them well. How, how, how do you feel? <laughs> how do you feel? Say that that song no date up. Uh, we, 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 we still do you know? Do you know what one <laughs> thing? Direction. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know yeah, one yeah. thing. Gazi go go enjoy with. We all no, nobody. A lot of people no go enjoy. Uh-huh. It's when or experience 
when we are making noise about the album, mm -hmm. and he has all these, oh, he's just looking at us now. Yeah. Like, now this one now you they sound like this. <laughs> this small thing. This is a, Charlie, yeah. the next time they drive around the area, I go drive with you. Where are your rounds for the day? I just want to sit front. Oh, that record. Yeah. Yeah. What? Mad. <laughs> what? Charlie, vibe, 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 vibe. Nah, vibe. Solid. That, if you drop, yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I I just I just want to big up the producers who <laughs> worked who, who on, worked yeah. on this. I feel like they all wanted to show off, and they yeah. did show off. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm um, from Sam Snay to uh, Nana Rogues to Streets Beast to yeah. Gazi yourself. You know, I I feel like you know, I mean, and all all due respect to to Stoneboy and what he's built for himself. That now producers see the need to put in their best when they are working with him. Mm -hmm. because of the mileage he's been able to accumulate mm -hmm. over the years because if you listen to his albums from you know um the the 2014 um what's the name of the album brah man i just had i just had um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I but if you, if, you, if you look at the trajectory of stone boys production you could clearly it's tell giving producers a, a race for their slots exactly like show yourself yes. like you, you also have an opportunity to, as a producer you have yeah. an opportunity to also show your range uh -huh. you know and i'll come back to the point i made earlier that i feel like stone had to leave some of these songs that i think should have not been on the album to remind people of you know what I still can do this if I want to. Yeah. You know, I like you. songs like, you know, um, the um, JJ Reg. Mm -hmm. He's just, he's, I feel like he was just trying to show off and say, look, you mm -hmm. know, I got range. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, I, got, I yeah. can do any. So good genre. for now. So <laughs> but if you, if you miss it, I'll drop I'll, one. Do you yeah, understand? For, yeah. Yeah, for, I have to remind you, say, yeah, yeah, Charlie, yeah. this one to our day inside. Crazy. You know, I but, get you. but Charlie, shout out to the producers. I, I think they, they really did. I, yeah. I'm, I'm sure yeah. you guys had a hard time yeah. selecting. What production should do records on, you know, stuff like that. But really big ups to. But wait, wait, what this teaser was a crazy teaser. Um, Yo. Please, let's wrap it up with memory. And you know, he has an Amar Piano, there's an Amar Piano record on the, on the album. Yeah, hard one. Uh. There's an Amar yeah, Piano yeah, record yeah, on the yeah, album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm yeah, surprised yeah, yeah, that yeah. one made it and this, this one. one. Our. Our. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk memories as we wrap up this morning's conversation here. Uh, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Uh huh. My uh -huh. favorite record uh -huh. on, on the album. Uh -huh. mm. Mm. So beautiful. Oh, That's so a beautiful. hip hop vibe, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't mean the fuck. Yeah. 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 Stone has given yeah. me three love yeah. songs. Yeah. Each album. Well <laughs> mm. uh, yeah. Okay. It has some tenure lies down low. Yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. That's it. That's yeah. it. Come on. One, two, three. Yeah. Come on. Shall I for some rap? Did it. <clears throat> <laughs> Oh, I like this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 That's what we're talking about, right? That 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 yeah. Joe Thomas. Uh, yeah. Smooth, faded, man. faded, faded. Uh, faded glory. Hey, faded with pictures. was a lovely sample. Woo! It's my, it's my favorite record on the album. Kai! I'm in mean, love with you! I'm in love with you! <laughs> oh my god! Nah, nah, nah. Hold it down. Sorry, easy. Sorry, sorry. I, I know what you're feeling. I'm feeling it too. It's easy. I'm in love with you! Ah. Charlie, Gazi, take us go church. Charlie, close right. the show, cut it. <laughs> Charlie, Gazi, thank you very much. To... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Our time is up. We have to go. But thank you very much for this inside oh. exclusive scoop onto the album uh, as well, up and running. Um, ladies and gentlemen, hope you had a good time as well. We're back here same time baby. tomorrow. And on that note, though, enjoy this as memories from the up and running album. Charlie Gazi. You're the man. Thank you very much. Culture Daily was brought to you by Telesale.